Hi, it's me from editing. So, before I start this video, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has literally shown me so much love on Twitter. Um, you guys are all, like, I was so blown away. Like, it was so nice. I was literally, like, losing my mind all day. Um, I gained 30 subscribers in one day, which might not seem like a lot, but, like, that's a lot for me, like, in the span of 24 hours. Um, I've gained almost 100 followers on Twitter, like, and everybody was just so nice. Like, everybody was literally so nice. I was so overwhelmed with, like, kindness, and so, yeah, thank you guys literally so so much if you came from twitter thank you so much i really appreciate it um and yeah if you want to do any buddy reads let me know because i'm always down to do some buddy reads or reading sprints i've never done them before but i really want to so if you ever want to do anything just let me know i'm always down hey guys okay so it is officially march 2nd which means it is chain of iron release day and you know that I was at Barnes & Noble when it opened and I got my copy and I'm literally so excited. Oh my God, it is, oh my God, it's beautiful. I'm so, oh my God, I'm literally so excited. You have no idea. I'm literally like, I was almost like panicking in the store cause I was like, I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, oh my God, did they like sell out? Like I couldn't find it. But luckily he just said that they didn't have like enough staffers to like put it out on the floor so it wasn't on the floor yet so he went back and got me one and i'm literally oh my god i'm literally so excited oh my god i'm so excited anyways welcome to my infernal devices reading vlog so this one is for book two clockwork prince i am currently on page 108 i started this two nights ago i was gonna start my vlog yesterday but i just like really was not in the mood so i didn't end up doing like any filming i've been going back and forth between reading and listening to the audiobook and so far um i like this audiobook like the narrator so much better than the first one um this one is like two it's a guy and a girl so i like don't that's fine but both of them are so much better than the first ones. So I'm on page 108 of Clockwork Prince. I'm probably going to be doing some journaling today. That's really it. Um, I'm hoping to finish this book by either tomorrow or Thursday. Thursday, March 4th, is my birthday. So I'm very excited for that as well. Um, my best friend comes tomorrow and we are going to go to Salt Lake City on Friday. And we're going to stay till Saturday, so maybe I'll do a little bit of vlogging there as well. Um, I don't know if it'll be in this one or if it'll be in my Clockwork Princess one. But we'll just see. Um, I'm not really in too much of a rush, I feel like. Or maybe I am. I don't know. I'm just... I can't... I literally just can't stop looking at this. Oh my god, it's just literally so pretty. I am obsessed. Like, I genuinely didn't think I liked the cover at first like seeing just like the pictures of it but like now that I'm seeing it like for real with my own two eyes I'm like obsessed with it oh also so you know how last week I was putting up those pictures up on my wall well they have all fallen down well most of them have fallen down look at this I just they have all oh falling off and I also have to fix this and these ones are starting to come off too so I'm just really going through it right now um hopefully well my dad said that he would get me another bookshelf for my birthday so I'm gonna get another bookshelf in the next few days um because there's an Ikea in Salt Lake City so I will be going there and yeah I'm gonna get a small one and I know that I put these pictures, like, just put these pictures up, but I'm going to take these down and I'm going to put another small one right here. So then I'll have a small one, a big one, small one, big. So that's my plan. Um, I'm probably going to end up taking all of these down just because I don't have the energy to put them back up and put more up. So, yeah. So my plan today is to see how far I can get. I'm going to do some journaling and stuff and, um... I guess we'll just see what happens.
remember the last time I updated, but it is currently March 4th. It is my birthday. As you can tell, I've got streamers going on. Check this out. I got, oh, I got a happy birthday sign. I have balloons outside, but I turned my fan on because it's hot. So I put the balloons outside my door for now. But um, just a little update on Clockwork Prince. So I'm currently on page 357. So I just have a little bit more to go. This one I've been mostly listening to the audiobook just because I feel like I've been doing a lot of, well, I just really haven't been home much during this one. So I haven't really read a lot or when I'm here, I'm like doing things. So this one has mostly been audiobook. I like this audiobook so much better than the Clockwork Angel audiobook. I think I talked about this already, but now that I'm like, almost finished with the book I'm like realizing like how much more I'm enjoying this audiobook than I did Clockwork Angel and um obviously it has to do with the narrators there's two there's a guy and a girl um it's mostly the girl doing the narration though which is fine um but for I just I wish the guy would do more because his voice is just like so soothing so I kind of wish he would read more. He does like, he comes in like every once in a while and he reads like the chapter names and stuff. But yes, also my best friend Shelby is here. I have your pen, soul, pencil. So I totally forgot that Jessamine and Nate were actually married. Um, I once again I would like to reiterate that I literally hate Jessamine. I hate her so much. She's literally my least favorite character in this series until she dies. Then once she dies she like gets better but when she's alive I literally cannot stand her. I forgot what I was gonna say. I could see you in the background. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna be like. <laughs> can, I just, can you mind if I didn't say anything? You just be sitting in the background. Oh do you want to talk about your book real quick? So I saw this from TikTok because I saw a scene or an excerpt, if you will, that was a little spicy. Um, Add a little bit of spice. Um, so it's Shadow and Bone and I just know it's about like a soldier kind of thing. I think it's like in a fan fantasy world. Don't really know what it's about, but I know it's a series. Okay, wait, Bas hold on. You can keep going. Oh, um, basically I just saw it on TikTok um, and this one scene caught my eye. And so now I, we did not buy it together. I've had it. Um, so yeah. I haven't started yet, so I don't want to do that. I feel like Hermione. As you should. <laughs> Look at this cute sweatshirt she got me for my birthday. It says the Winter Soldier because he's my favorite. And I know her. To match my ring, my Winter Soldier ring. Okay. Anyways. So. um, Dude. Sophie's just a badass. She saw... Jessamine sneaking out and she heard about Nate and everything and she really just smacked her over the head with a mirror. She didn't give a fuck. She said, I don't give a fuck, Keisha. And she fucked her up. As she should. Honestly, I love Sophie. I'm at the part where Jem and Tessa are going down to the silent city to see Jessamine. And she's like freaking out, you know? And so, um, I think in the next like few pages is when Tessa goes out as, yeah. So in the next chapter, I think I have like a little less than 20 pages until the next chapter. And that's when Tessa goes out to meet Nate dressed as a boy. And honestly, like, I don't remember, I don't remember this. Maybe it's because I wasn't, like, maybe it's because I read it too fast, or maybe it's because it was, like, I'm just going to say a long time ago, but it was about a year ago, so 
but I just, I don't remember her going to meet Nate and I totally, oh my God, I just remembered something. I'm cutting myself off because I want to talk about this scene. The balcony scene with Will and Tessa is literally, that is my attic scene of this book. Like anytime these two are together and they just, I love them so much. And apparently today is their anniversary. There are 141st anniversaries. I think Cassandra Clare retweeted it on Twitter. So honestly, I'm honored to share a birthday with Tessa and Will's anniversary. That was the first thing I said to Shelby when I woke up this morning. <laughs> As I saw it on, I got the Twitter notification and I was like, oh my God, I share a birthday with two of my favorite characters <laughs> anniversary. And that was honestly iconic. You were very happy. I was very excited because I genuinely had no idea. So I love that. I love that for all of us. But anyways, back to, I'm literally just like that scene as when they went to the party and then she like, they were like getting ready to leave. I was like, oh my God, how did I forget? How did I forget about the balcony scene? I... Once I figured out where they were going, I literally, like, lost my mind. I was so excited. It's literally my favorite. And I just wish Will wasn't such an asshole. I just, I know he's doing it, like, to be, like, good, I, I guess. He thinks he's, like, helping her when we all know that he's not. He's not helping her. He's making it worse. So, I just freaking love them. I love them so much. And then I hate it because, like, this is also the book where... Jem and Tessa, you know, do their thing. And I just, that's also such a good scene. So it's like so hard. And I remember, well, like, okay, a few days ago, I can't remember if it was on Twitter or if it was on TikTok, but I saw this thing where it was like, um, people are like getting mad because like they want to, they want like Will and Tessa to be together and like they want Jem and Tessa to be together. But then it's like, in the end, she literally is with both of them. So, like, she gets to live her dream of having a family with Will and then having a family with Jim. So, it's, like, I don't know. I think it's nice. Because, like, it's really hard when you're reading these books to be, like, oh, I want her to be with Will or, oh, I want her to be with Jim. Because, like, they're both, like, so good in their own way. And, like, Will just has a Herondale charm. I'm telling you. there, There's just something about Herondales. I literally would die for every single one of them. And Jem is just, like, so freaking sweet, and I just, I literally love him so much. So it's so hard when you're reading these to be like, oh, I want her to be with this one, but I want her to be with this one. But then, yeah, in reality, she just ends up with both. So it's, you know, Tessa, it's just a win-win situation for her. I was thinking about, um, I think it was in this book when Will, or when Jem talked about Will giving him the, like, jade pendant because, like, it jade like comes from china and so it like will thought of jem but then jem was like i think he only liked it because it looked like a fish trying to punch something and i just thought that was literally so funny so i don't know and cecily i can't wait for cecily to come in um i know that's in the next book but like i genuinely like i don't i think i just have a problem with like new characters like when they come in and like mess up the dynamic and stuff but the first like few chapters of Clockwork Princess I didn't like because I didn't like Cecily but now she's like obviously has grown on me and I love her so uh, she's a hair and dale so of course I would die for her so yes anyways that's where I'm at um I'm gonna do some more physical reading tonight I'm gonna go take a bath a bubble bath because it's my birthday and I deserve a bubble bath oh wait I do, I'm gonna do a little mini book haul right here because I'm really excited about the books. I got a bunch of books today. So, okay, before I start this, um, I just wanna let you know that I think, so like half of these books that I have, I don't know anything about. So I will not be giving a description of any of them. I'm just gonna do a quick, this is what I got because that's all, that, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I don't have a reason. It's just, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, so the first one I got is The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. Sorry if I said that wrong. But this is the first one I got. Is she thick? Like, she really thick. My dad bought this for me for my birthday. Uh, because we went to two different bookstores today. Thank you very much. That's all I wanted to do. But, 
so I got this one and honestly the reason I got this one is because I've been wanting to get into more like adult like fantasy and adult just like adult books in general so I just thought I should give it a shot so this next one I'm really excited about I got from blood and ash by Jennifer L Armentrout so this one is on my top 21 books to read in 2021 and like I was genuinely shocked that I found this at Barnes and Noble and I'm literally so effing excited. It was $31, but it was totally worth it. So yes, I'm literally so excited to read this book. And like, again, I think I talked about it in my 21 books of 21, 2021 to read video, but, um, this one has like had a lot of mixed reviews. Like, I've heard people say they liked it. Well, I've heard people say they love it. I've heard people say they didn't like it. And then I've also heard people say that it's boring, like, at the beginning, but then it, like, picks up at the end. So I'm very interested to start this one to see, like, how I feel about it. Next one I've got is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Again, um, this one I found at the Half Price Bookstore down the street from my house. And I can't remember, again, I saw a booktuber talk about this. I can't remember who it was, but they said it was literally so good. And I've heard people like on Book Talk talking about it and stuff. So I think originally it was $17.99 and I got it for, I think, like $8.99. So I'm excited for this one too. Okay, the next one I have is Witchwood. And I... Okay, if I butch this, butcher this name, I'm so sorry. Tahire Mafi. But this one I have had my eye on for the past like three or four times that I went to the bookstore. Um, and so today when I went, I was like, if they have it, I'm just going to get it. Because I just am literally in love with the cover. I just think it's so pretty. So... They had it, obviously, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to get it. So I ended up getting it. The next one I have is The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Um, this one I've heard people talk about a lot. Um, and then I finally ended up getting it because, well, one, it was at that, that cheap bookstore. so And it looks literally brand new. So I got it because it was there. And um, I just watch it like right before I bought this I watched a video of um Chloe's books with Chloe she read this and she absolutely absolutely loved it so I decided to get it and I'm like actually adding to my Victoria Schwab collection I didn't realize it because I bought this and I was like oh my god I think this is the first book that I've ever bought by her but I actually a few weeks ago I bought The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and then a few weeks ago as well, I bought A Darker Shade of Magic. The next book I have is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. And I just want to know, so if anybody out there watches the show 911, does he, just seeing him on the cover, does he remind you of Buck or is that just me? Every time I see him, I think of him. So maybe I'm just crazy, but yeah. Anyways, so I've heard people, again, talk about this book a lot and I think it's the first in a trilogy and I be believe they are all out. I'm excited to read this one. Um, like I said, I've heard people talk about it but I haven't heard them like say whether they liked it or not. Like they've only mentioned it like in passing I guess. So this one I'm pretty excited to read. So the next one I have is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Um, this one I have seen Honestly, I've seen it in, like, Target and stuff a lot, and I always look at it, but I just never, like, thought I would buy it. But then it, I was on Barnes & Noble's website a few days ago, or it was, like, a few, it was, like, last week. I got these really fast. I, I think it was, like, last week, and I ordered a book, and then there was, like, a thing that was, like, buy one, get one half off. So I got this one and the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue for, ha like, the buy one, get one half off. Um... And so, since I've seen this one, like, so many times, I was like, I might as well just get it, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. I'm assuming that it has, like, two different, like, point of views for the two different guys. And I always love books that have that, like, every chapter is, like, somebody else's, like, point of view. So, like, multiple point of views and stuff. Curious to see what I'll think about this one. The next one I have 
is The House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This one I bought today and when I bought it, the lady who was ringing me up at Barnes & Noble, she was like, I love this book so much. It made me like so emotional and I was like, oh my god. And again, I like have heard nothing but good things about this book on booktube. So I haven't actually seen this like in bookstores. So when I saw it, I was just like, okay, I have to get it. So I ended up getting it and honestly, like the cover again is so pretty. Like I just love it, like all the colors and stuff. And I started it today too. I'm only like two pages in, but that's fine. The next one I have is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. So this one again, I'm literally so excited. Um, my best friend got it for me for my birthday. So, Brittany, thank you again. I'm literally so freaking happy. Again, is another one that's on my 21 books to read in 2021. And now that I finally have it, like, I'm literally so excited to start the series. Mostly because I've heard, like, people talk about these characters so much, and I'm literally so excited to get to know them. I was kind of like disappointed in the cover changes like in the middle of the series and how they just ended up co like changing the covers of every single book but now that I see it like in person and like I have it here I actually kind of like it like I think I like the original better but I'm like not mad about this one I do kind of like it the next one I have is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black this one again it's one on my 21 top 21 books read in 2021 um the way that I'm literally so excited to read this book. I have been wanting to get this book and I've been wanting to read this book since I saw this TikTok and I'm pretty sure it was probably like a year and a half ago. I saw this TikTok that was like, what you're like, what was it? What book you should read based on your favorite five seconds of summer member. And obviously I'm a Callum girl, you know, love him. And so it was like, if you love Callum, you should read The Cruel Prince. And so that's like all I could think about. And now I'm just going to associate this book with Callum. It's just what I'm going to do. And so when I read this, whoever the main guy is, I'm honestly probably just going to picture him as Callum Hood because that's all I can think about. And the way that I'm just so excited to read this book. The last one I have is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. Um, this one, again, I found it at my local bookstore. I saw it a few times that I've, like, gone, and, um, <laughs> so this one has been at the bookstore the last few times that I've gone, and, um, I went... I think I got this one the same day that I think I got this Savage this Savage song. I again I was watching a Books of Chloe video because she's literally my favorite. And she was talking to she read this one and she was talking about it and she said it was like magical realism and stuff. And I don't think I've ever read a book like that, as far as I can remember. So I'm actually pretty excited to get to this one. And um yeah. So that's it for my mini book haul. Um, I'm going to go and read some more Clockwork Prints. I don't think I'll be able to finish it tonight. I think I still have like a little over 200 pages left. Oh no, I only have like a little over 100 pages left. But I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight. Um, and then tomorrow we leave for Salt Lake City because we are going to go to East High from High School Musical which she is literally so excited for. I'm also excited. I've been there before, but it's going to be fun. She's never even been to Utah, so it'll be it'll be fun. And it's only a 4-hour drive, so it's not too bad. And then um on we're going to stay the night and then on Saturday we're going to hit up IKEA and I'm going to get a new bookshelf. So yeah. That's it for now. I am going to go continue reading Clockwork Prince. again um so I forgot to film an outro for this video so this is my outro um I finished Clockwork Prince sometime last week I honestly can't even remember but again five out of five stars as usual um 
you know, it never, it's never bad. It's always good. Um, I, real quick before I go, I always forget, well, I forgot about the fight scene at the end with, um, where Nate dies and Will literally sh shielded Tessa with his body. Tessa! <laughs> Tessa! Tessa! And he literally shielded her with his body. And honestly, what a man. What a man. I love that part. And we find out we find out he's not cursed. And then Gem and Tessa get engaged. So it's a it's always a good time reading the infernal devices. But I'm here with Shelby. She leaves tomorrow. Just really makes me upsetty spaghetti, but it's fine. I don't know who I'm going to laugh with anymore because we really just sit here and laugh all night. Laughs, breaks, jokes. <laughs> <laughs> we trying to do the pranks, laughs. Oh. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. We're really funny. Aren't yeah, we? We are, aren't we? we? The laughs we have. Between me and we you. We have some laughs. Pranks, laughs. That's what are we all right. gonna do? What are we gonna do what now? What are we gonna do? Uh, we finished. Oh, there's gonna be a video coming about. Yes, we made a video about Shadow and Bone because we are both hooked. Mm -hmm. She's I'm starting the Six of Crows at the moment. Six of Crows. Six. Of, that what I said? That's what you said. Six of Crows with a C. I'm on Ruin and Rising. So we're um hoes for. Shadow and Bone now. <laughs> it looks. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell. And please watch every Wednesday because I post a new video every Wednesday. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when. You heard her. Thanks for watching. I was in the corner. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Yay. Bye.